This is the 2014 Forest River Georgetown. It's the bunkhouse model. It does have the Ford V10 in it. Um, overall, it is in great condition. I'll do a quick once around on the outside here. It has the slide awning toppers up top there. Looks very clean on the outside. Our storage is down below here. 5500 watt generator. Looks like you got the roto cast in here. So it's made out of plastic versus metal or aluminum so it's not going to rot out on you. Looks like we might have some waterworks right over here. Get you a good view of all that. Outside shower. Tires. Good tread. It's less than 10,000 miles on this thing so I guess I wasn't too worried but Obviously this is a gas unit. Just looking through on the outside here, I'm not seeing anything that jumps out and says, hey, I'm an issue. Looks like you got a converter. Big pass-through storage. 50 amp power supply. There's a ladder over here for the bunk beds. There is an excess panel over there so you can get in from both sides. So I'll do a walk around here. Got the rear fiberglass cap, rear view mirrors. You do have side view mirrors on here too, so you've got essentially blind spot monitors. Trailer hitch, looks like they got the seven way wired in. Backup lights, and you're gonna have to bear with me, we're kinda close on this one, but. Awning topper again. This is gonna be the other side of that pass through. I'm not sure what's out here. Oh, just access panels. All right, here's more of the frame, more of the chassis. Looks pretty good. Looks like you've got the valve extenders on these. All right, I'm gonna sneak on by over here. More access panels. Here's some decent sized storage. There's a power outlet in here. Looks like we got some more storage. Outside speakers. There's going to be a TV in here. We do have a metal wrapped awning. There's an LED light strip underneath it. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but I guess I'll kind of give you a side view. These right here are the blinker cameras I was telling you about. Shot of the front tires, a little bit of the levelers down there. Let's go inside. So stairs do come out automatically. There's a little gate over here. To keep the critters from you know puffing through your screen. You walk in right on your left, obviously your battery disconnect, light switches, whatnot. Fire extinguisher, solid surface Corian countertops. On the other hand, you're going to have, you know, nice chairs, passenger chair up front, driver's chair. <coughs> Got your level up system there, obviously your cup holders. <coughs> kind of give you a once over of the cab, stereo, heat, AC. Generator hours. Cabinetry up front here. Some storage. Owie, I'm tripping over an ottoman. This is a drop down bunk up top here. It's manual, it'll drop, it'll fold. You'll have enough sleeping area just above the top of these seats for, you know, about one person. All right, turning and looking. Got your sofa over there. Booth dinette. Obviously your TV coming into the kitchen area. Like we talked about the solid surface countertops, stove covering, all stainless, as is your fridge and freezer. 
This freezer is actually kind of cool. Nice big pull out, just like a home unit almost. And obviously, this is huge. Huge fridge. Um, I'm sure you saw it, but you do get a ice maker right here. Do you get your microwave right here? Very big. And then just overall, your cabinets, they got the raised wood paneling on them. Nice and solid. I don't know if you want a quick view of this. Your shades here, you do get day night shades. So you got day shades there. And if you pull this down, sorry my phone was going off and it's aggravating me. You get the night shades. Transitioning on. Back here is where you get into the bunk beds. Little puck lights over there. Do get your TVs over here. Keep the kids occupied. TV controller, power. Whole nine yards. Actually, these are kind of cool. Little slide out drawers on the bottom. Getting into the bedroom, you do have another TV. Big hanging closet space. Nice glide out drawers. And some more hanging. Nice window in back. Nice decent sized bed. You do have power and you're going to have you know some shelving on each side. I don't know if you guys have sleep machines or not but some people do and they find that very important. Uh, and your sliding door back here. This is what separates you from the world essentially. This one will slide. This one will slide. I guess I never even tried this yet. And you'll just kind of close up. Bunch more storage. Uh, come into the bathroom now. Towel hanger on the door. Cabinetry. Obviously your roof vent. You got your toilet here. It looks to be that it's porcelain, which it is. Good thing it's porcelain. I just smashed it. Sink. Decent counter space. And then you've got your shower right here. Got a little skylight dome. Give you a little natural lighting. And it looks like whoever had this previously put some... I guess I put towels on here. But yeah, you could either keep that or take it off, but it's here now. It's probably a good idea. It's likely why they did it. I did forget to mention, you do have a thermostat right here in the main area. And then there is another one here in the bedroom. So. That's kind of how she looks. I haven't found any stains, any any anything really. I mean the biggest thing I could probably point out maybe being a potential issue would be this, but that's very minute. Whoever had it before took very good care of it. I mean I kind of do a once over of everything, but I am not seeing anything at all. And again, rear corners, give you a quick shot of that just because if that's where you're going to get a water leak, not that you'd have one in a year, a 2014, but it's one of those things. It's always nice to check. Yeah, looks solid. If you have any other questions, let me know.